What is good, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new video. We are once again back with another off-season rebuild. Of course, we're continuing with these, and today, we got to do the Orlando Magic. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. As always, greatly appreciated. We have the bar set very high of trying to reach 50k subs before the end of this year. So, if you want to help me out with that, that's greatly appreciated. But... The Orlando Magic, man. So, a lot to be excited about here. Paolo Bancaro was fantastic his rookie year. Of course, they got Franz Wagner, who they're excited about. Markel Fultz looked pretty good down the stretch. Wendell Carter. There's a lot of good young players here. Uh, so, we definitely... And we're going to be able to add to that with two lottery picks this offseason. So, the Orlando Magic are sitting pretty right now. So, let's just get straight into it. As we know, the first important step when it comes to these lottery teams is a draft lottery. Are we going to get lucky? Are we not going to get so lucky? So I'm honestly curious and interested to see what we're going to do once we get in here. And I can't make any trades just yet, so let's just start here. So draft lottery time. Let's see where we're projected to be. So we are projected pick 6 and pick 10. So if we can find a way to jump up into the top 4 with either pick, that would obviously be absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure uh, Chicago's pick is protected, though, in the top 3, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. So maybe we don't want that... Chicago picked a jump up, so let's just watch and see what happens. So, New Orleans, number 14, is going to stay that way, so that's good. We don't want anybody to jump up. The only team we want to see jump up is Orlando. So, we got Oklahoma City. Uh, they're going to stay at 13 as well, so that's going to be their pick. And number 12, you're going to have the Toronto Raptors. Let's see if that jumps up, and it does not. So, so far, so good. And we got number 11, New York Knicks, which I think this is going to be that Mavericks pick. And uh, actually, no, no that okay so yeah i was about to say okay it is a, it's gonna yeah it's the mavericks pick sorry here's our uh, chicago pick and it is gonna stay at 10 so so far so good number nine we're gonna have the utah jazz let's see what happens here and that is gonna be the blazers which means the jazz have jumped up so that is definitely kind of scary that would mean maybe we fell down which wouldn't be a good sign number eight is gonna be charlotte and that is gonna be uh staying that way okay so far so good other than jazz jumping up number seven is gonna be houston Let's see what happens here. And Houston is going to have seven. Okay. So this is where we were projected, I believe, at six. And it uh, looks like we're going to be in the top four, uh, potentially. Let's see. And yeah, so we're in the top four, I think. So that is honestly amazing. It's going to go a long way to this rebuild right now. So Detroit, number five. And it's going to be them. That sucks for Detroit to fold out that far, by the way. But here we go. Can we get into the top three? That'd be amazing. But four is pretty good as well. And we're in the top three. Got some lottery luck on our side. We're going to walk away with 10 and a top three pick. So either way, walking with Brandon Miller, Scoot, or Webb and Yama, that's all amazing in my eyes. And we're going to have two or one. Just like that, we have pick one or two in this draft, which is honestly just a great start. So let's see if we can get number one and we get number one. We get Victor Webb and Yama to start this draft. This team is already so lengthy. So honestly, this is only fitting. Uh, this is great. This is exactly what the doctor would have ordered we get the number one overall pick and just like that we get to walk away with victor webb and yama at our center position you got you can't script that any better today's video is brought to you by prize picks the nba playoffs are officially upon us and there's no better way to get more out of the nba playoffs that you're watching with prize picks prize picks is a player props app that allows you to bet overs or unders on the players you love watching let me show you the website Price picks is available on mobile or desktop. Currently, we're on the desktop version, and you're going to be opened up with this. Basically, you have every sport you can imagine. You got tennis, soccer, PGA, CSGO, if you're into stuff like that, MMA. But we're here for the NBA. The plan tournament is officially starting, and I'm looking at some of these props right here, and I'm feeling juicy. So all you basically do, you can choose between two to six players. This is my favorite way of getting more out of the game I'm watching. I'm already going to watch the game, so might as well have some fun with it. So let's say I wanted to go Clint Capella over points, and let's say I want to go like maybe over Tyler Hero's prop as well. You just go more and more. Uh, three or two players is three times your money, and you can go all the way up to 25 times with six players. If you're still unsure about it, here are some examples of winnings I've had in the past, and you can go ahead and sign up with my link down in the description below. Use code CRUSHABLES. They're matching your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100 for first-time users. Thank you, PrizePix, for sponsoring today's video. Thank you, 2K. They have blessed me today. So, as far as all this is concerned, we really just need to go ahead and do one thing as higher as a post-defensive coach, and I'll go with Oakley. So, we already know we're doing on draft night. There's no discussion. We already know what this team is about to do. Now, I do want to see if there's any vets or anybody that I'm looking like, okay, maybe I should trade them away. So that would make Victor Webb and Yama our starting center with Franz Wagner and Paul Bon Carroll. Our team is about to be so tall. I love it. I honestly love it. I love it. So Wendell Carter uh, probably going to be our backup center now, and he's on a three-year deal. So $13 million for a backup center. I don't think it's too bad whatsoever. 
how does this contract look like what does it go up to 10 million yeah it even goes down so that is good backup center money i honestly feel like window carter is going to fit very well in that role so that is great by my in my mind so uh, other than that we have jonathan isaacs uh who is a free agent we shall see what we do with him he can never stay healthy than gary harris so let's just jump in let's not delay the inevitable any further we already know what we're doing here vic welcome to orlando that is going to be an insane start to this rebuild and number 10 what else do we want to add so i don't really want to add another guard because i feel like we have enough of those but uh, i guess if there's only good guards then maybe i have to uh, i could take a forward i could take a shooting guard i just said i don't want a guard i could take one of the thompson twins i could take the other twin at uh sar thompson yeah i'll go ahead and do that so i'll go ahead and take a small forward with this selection and uh we might have another pick unless if it's just a second rounder which it is okay second round pick um i'll take like julian phillips or something so that'll be my draft so the highlight of course vic welcome to orlando that's amazing rookie signing webb and yama and sar thompson and then phillips will sign him as well player options all right so we got franz Wagner. of course i'm accepting that no no doubt about that cole anthony i'm accepting bowl bowl i'm going to accept that two million dollars is a steal jonathan isaac jonathan isaac uh i would assume if orlando had the option to decline it i would assume they would he could just never stay healthy so i feel like it would only make sense for orlando to decline it if you're a magic fan out there and you see that differently definitely let me know but i, I guess if i were to guess i'm gonna assume the magic declined this then gary harris I'm going to decline that one as well. So that's going to give us about $30 million in cash space open up. So boom, qualifying offers, Admiral Schofield, not going to you know sweat over him too much. And then free agency time. So not a ton of good free agents as we know in this class. But if we take a look at what our rotation is looking like as it is right now, Fultz at the point guard, I plan on keeping it that way. So we have to resign him eventually, but I do like Mark Hill Fultz, Cole Anthony and Jalen Suggs. Definitely kind of interesting to think about what we could do with either one of them. I don't know if we'll be keeping both of them throughout the video, but uh, we'll, we shall see. I, I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. But Fultz, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs. So it looks like we could use a starting shooting guard unless we just want to roll with Jalen Suggs being that guy. Franz Wagner, Sar Thompson. I actually like Sar Thompson as a backup. Chumo Kiki is fine too. Bull Bull is our back of four right now, which I think is fine. And of course, we got Wendell Carter. So front court is looking good. Bull Bull, Webinyama, Boncaro, Wendell Carter, Franz Wagner. That's like, are, are all these guys like 6'10 and above? Like, that's just so amazing. So. We have plenty of length, as we know. Plenty of length. That is amazing. So, Thompson, we'll leave that. So, I don't think I'm going to mess with anything as far as this front court. The center position is great. The forward position is great. And the four spots are, like I said, are great. So, really, I just said we didn't need a guard, but it looks like I need a guard. So, really, a shooting guard would come in handy right now. So, if we look at free agency, of course, there's like James Harden, but I don't really want to bring James Harden to Orlando. We're like a little bit off of him being able to afford him. You got like Porzingis, which I mentioned we don't need to do that. D'Lo, Fred Van Vliet could be interesting. Kuzma, Clarkson, Christian Wood, Dinwiddie, Jeremy Grant, Mason Plumley. Who would be like a really good, I mean, Cameron Johnson, Kelly Oubre. Ooh, Gary Trent, actually. 24-year-old shooting guard, Gary Trent. That would honestly be like kind of ideally perfect to bring him in. And I actually kind of like the idea of that. So, or even like Austin Reeves would be fun as well. But I think I am going to sign Gary Trent Jr. Let's sign Gary Trent Jr. to be our starting shooting guard. E even if Suggs passes, passes him up eventually, that's fine. I'm going to sign Gary Trent to be that starting two for us. So let's go with that. Gary Trent Jr. will be our brand new shooting guard. We technically still have money left over, but I'm just going to leave that open because uh, we're, we're going to be able to sign guys eventually. So Mark Markel Fultz, we're going to have to resign guys, I should say, eventually. So Fultz, Anthony, Gary Trent, Suggs. Franz Wagner, plenty of forwards, and then you got Bobo, Bo, Boncaro, Webb and Yama, Wendell Carter. That's perfect. I love it. This offseason honestly could not have gone any better. Of course, getting the number one overall pick is always going to be amazing. But Boncaro up to an 87, Franz Wagner up to an 85. Webb and Yama, of course, already comes in at an 85. Markel Fultz is up. Cole Anthony is up. Jalen Suggs is up. So Anthony and Suggs are still progressing as well. I just don't know if I'm going to pay be able to pay both of them. Once I pay Markel Fultz, that's going to make that decision a little bit tougher. If I'm Orlando, I'm not really trying to pay three different guards like that so cole anthony maybe at the deadline it would definitely be it might be a smart investment to trade him while we can Suggs, we have one more team option so we can kind of you know wait on that one potentially but yeah we might have to think about things like that so at the deadline there's a potential we could stop there maybe use cole anthony and then maybe use that gary trent money we just signed to a deal or something we'll see there's definitely some opportunities to maybe make another trade if we need to, but it's also going to depend. I just love the wrong draft class, by the way, but it's also going to depend on if we're doing good or we're not. So, but I assume with Wemby added to what we already have, this team is about to be really good. So, Fultz, Gary Trent, Franz Wagner, Boncaro, 
Wemby, Wendell Carter, Cole Anthony, Bull Bull, and then Jalen Sucks. I mean, yeah, this this rotation is looking pretty nasty. Proficiency is three and a half balance. Can we be a four star already anywhere? No. So I'll just leave that three and a half balance with somebody this season. Uh, I might stop at the deadline. I may not. Just kind of depends how I'm feeling. We'll see. And I will see you guys either at the deadline or at the end of the season where hopefully we're in the playoffs. So I have stopped at the trade deadline. And the reason being is because like I mentioned, Fultz and Cole Anthony are both going to have to be paid this offseason. So as a GM, I feel like I have to choose one or the other, unfortunately. And I'm just not really sure which direction I want to go in. So do I want to pay Cole Anthony or do I want to re-sign Markel Fultz? Now, if we look at the options, so if we look at it, Markel Fultz is 25, and uh, he may not ask for too much. His perimeter defense, obviously, is an A-. minus. Uh, one thing I will say, if we look at the stats right now, let's just say this, because one thing Cole Anthony has for him is he's younger by two years. Fultz is uh, shooting 50% from the field, but only 28% from three. On the other hand, Cole Anthony is shooting 43% from three, and then 48% from the field, and he's just a little bit younger. So... I feel like I have to see one of their value. I have to try to trade one of them. And they're both like 6364. So I'm going to try to trade one of them, unfortunately, because I don't want to have to pay both of them. I just feel like that's redundant. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, try to call, trade Cole Anthony first. And we'll see if I can get maximum value. The main thing I want to do here is capitalize on value here. That way we're not just losing them for nothing in the offseason. You can get like Isaac Okoro is being offered to me. That could be interesting. Trey Lyles in a first round pick. Uh, Trey Jones in a first, or Tyus Jones, I should say, in a first round pick. Capella, Kill Martin in a first. So if I'm walking away with the first round pick, I have to, have to feel pretty good about that. We can get a first round pick from Dallas. We take on Davis Breton's contract, which was basically expiring. So basically, we'll be getting an unprotected Mavericks pick. But the Mavericks do have Kyrie Irving and Lucas. So I don't know why they would want Cole Anthony. So I'm not sure that trade makes a ton of sense for them. Drew Eubanks in a first. Achua, Shingun. Of course, Shingun would be amazing, but that's just. Not something we really need right now. Nurkic, no, thank you. And then Gafford. So my favorite trade out of all of them was potentially a Coro. Uh, but I feel like we kind of already have friends Wagner there. So we don't really need that. Uh, but Tyus Jones in a first is also interesting. Because we'll be walking away with a first round pick at least. And then Tyus Jones may not want as much money as Cole Anthony would. I don't know. It's kind of a, it's kind of just an, kind of a thing I'm thinking about. Do we want to pay both of them? I don't really. So I'm going to also look at Markel, Markel Fultz value a little quick, really quickly. And uh, see what he would do for us. But I feel like I want to lean towards re-signing Markel Fultz. If I'm being completely honest. He may not be shooting the best. But I just feel like Markel Fultz is going to fit us a lot better. So I think I am going to go ahead and trade Cole Anthony for one of those packages I was, I was offered. And I'm looking at that Grizzlies return. Getting Tyus Jones as a backup. But we get a first round pick. I think would be pretty solid. So yeah. I think I am going to go. And then Okoro would be solid too. But we got plenty of forwards. So I think I'm going to go with this trade. We're going to be walking away with the first round pick. Uh, we get Tyus Jones in return, who's going to be a really solid backup. Hopefully, we can resign him, and he's not going to want too much money. And then you got, uh, just real quick, just in case, that Mavericks offer is also enticing. But like I said, for the Dallas Mavericks, it doesn't make a ton of sense. So I am going to go ahead and go with that Grizzlies offer. I'm going to try to squeeze one more out of them if I can. Uh, that might be two. I don't think they'll do that. Let's just go with the original trade. So we'll make that offer and uh now yeah okay let's stop let's just go back to the original offer i don't know what we're doing so i spent too much time in this deadline i said i would have to pay or trade cole anthony or fultz and i'm doing that just that so i'm going to be walking away with the first not letting cole anthony walk for nothing and uh, i feel like this is the best way to handle this situation so rookie of the year goes to victor webb and yama and we did book ourselves a playoff spot in the eastern conference which you have to feel really good about and i think tyus jones and jalen suggs are starting the rest of the season and uh i guess that's what they like so we have fultz and uh garrett trent coming off the bench right now i guess tyus jones and jalen suggs are just absolutely killing it as starters right now they're just on fire so I guess if that's what uh, the team wants, sure, why not? As long as Boncaro, Webb, and Yama, and Franz Wagner are all still starting. So let's just get to work. We get to play the Boston Celtics in round one. Will we beat them? Probably not. That's a tough task to ask for as a team that just made the playoffs for the first time in quite some time. We shall see how this goes. So game one, we're down one to zero. Do they want to fix this rotation just yet? Like, are we done with this? Yeah, okay. Now we have Marco Fultz at least back in there. Tyus Jones coming off our bench. We'll see if we can uh, go ahead and steal a game or not. Down two to zero, and we somebody current round. I thought I clicked somebody through game, but somebody current round, we lose in four. So overall, we made the playoffs, which is a great sign, but we're just not ready to do anything crazy with it just yet, which I think is fine. We're just going to let these guys continue to develop. Cavaliers beat the Warriors in four. LeBron James retires, and then Chris Paul does as well. Draft lottery time. This is going to be a big lottery. Not for me, though, for the Thunder, it's looking like. 11, 12, 13, and 5, apparently, for them, which is crazy to get number one. 
And then do we have a pick in this draft? I don't think oh, we have 24. So we have pick 24 and that's it. And the Thunder walk away with one, eight, 12, 13, 16, and then that's it. So the Thunder are stacked and the Raptors have two, Spurs three. Staff signing, I'm going to keep Jamal Mosley. I'm going to fill the rest of this out because we have a lot of blank staff spots right now. And then uh, we'll move on to the next step. So in the draft, we went ahead and took Tyrese Proctor with that 24th overall pick. We also get Armin here as well as a Euro stash. Player options, we're going to accept all these. So we don't have to pay anyone just yet, but eventually we're going to have to. Jamo Kiki is a free agent. I wouldn't mind bringing him back. And then, of course, a big free agent. This obviously is for us, like I mentioned earlier, is Markel Fultz. Uh, Tyus Jones wants 17 million and Bulba with 15 million. Now, let's see if uh, Cole Anthony is not going to be asking for too much money in a free agency because maybe I shouldn't have traded him. Uh, he's asked for 22 million. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to pay Fultz and Anthony the same amount of money. I just don't, I just wouldn't want to pay both of them like that. So, I had to choose one or the other, in my opinion. So, I am going to be resigning Markel Fultz, though, to a nice little contract. Four years, 20 million, I think would be a steal. Or even five years, 20 million. Whatever. I, I mean, whatever. I think that'd be a steal of an offer to get Markel Fultz on that. Bull Bull, unrestricted as well. I'm going to go ahead and resign him. On top of that, I think we can keep him around. Four years, 15. And then uh, Tyus Jones, I definitely want to bring him back. Uh, but it would be... Okay, so it's going to be a little cheaper than Cole Anthony would have been. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm not locked into him long term. Just in case we need to pay somebody else. So... I'm going to resign all of our guys. We're going to resign Tyus Jones, Bobo, and Markel Fultz. Bring all those guys back. That's going to be huge for us. And then uh, do we have money to do anything else? I don't think so. So I'm cool with just what we got right now. So Fultz, Tyus Jones, got Tyree Sparked in the draft as well. Gary Trent, Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Thompson, Phillips, Von Carroll, Paul, Bobo. So that's all looking good. You know, Kiki can come back in his qualifying offer. So no crazy free agent signings this offseason. We just kind of retained everything so we go to player progression let's see what this is about to look like okiki's back so we got bod up to an 89 friends Wagner up to an 89 yeah looking good looking good mark l folds up to an 83 and then did uh Clinton go back to the grizzlies he did and he didn't move so like either way i guess it didn't really matter too much so yeah i think this roster is looking pretty good jalen Suggs is up to an 81 as well we're gonna have to make a decision on him because he's gonna get paid this offseason as well um we shall see how he does you know obviously and 2k when they don't even do that good they still ask for a bag just because of their age so that's why it's like even if they perform terribly like the, the it's still they still ask for a bag it's just how it goes so here's what we're looking like though you got mark hill full so i actually want to start jalen suggs so okay that's interesting so maybe jalen suggs can be that starting shooting guard for us going forward I'm not sure full suggs wagner von carol webb and yama carter gary trent Tyus Jones, Bull Bull. It does make our bench like really good. This rotation overall is like really stacked. Proficiency, four star. Made the playoffs last year. I would assume we do that again, but this time we should be even scarier, hopefully. So we are currently stopped at the trade deadline at 29 and 26. I'm honestly really disappointed with how this season is going so far. So I'm looking to make a big move and I'm looking to get a huge upgrade in the backcourt. So what I'm potentially looking at i've looked at guys like tyrese maxi i've uh, thought about the idea of bringing in lamello ball i've also thought about the idea of bringing in trey young because we have the assets i feel like to throw together to maybe bring bring something like that in and then trey young would have so many tall guys around him that could play defense that i think trey young would fit perfectly here so that's who i want to try to get trey young or lamello uh it doesn't matter either one I, that's my dream scenario here so if i can pull either one off that would be amazing i'm gonna first try for trey young though so i'm offer fultz Last year of Jalen Suggs, uh, Sar Thompson, and then are we still a little bit off? This trade is illegal. We'll, we'll fix that in a second. So we're going to offer a 2025 pick, our 2027 selection, and our 2029 selection. So all that for Trey Young. Uh, do you have to give me some like minimum players down here? Let's say it's uh, Fernando. Let's see, okay, two million. A Magic would acquire two million more. So we have to offer a little bit. Okay, so somebody else making a lot more money has to be in this trade. Chumo Kiki is going to say no because he has that stupid no trade clause um maybe it's no it's gonna have to be like Wendell Carter which I hate to do but we're getting or Tyus Jones it could be Tyus Jones or Wendell Carter so Bolt Suggs three first round picks for Tyus for Trey Young what do you say we got Trey Young Trey Young is now on the Orlando Magic and that is what I wanted to pull off here so now we take a look at our rotation. I said I wanted to keep Fultz, but now we have Trey Young, Gary Trent Jr. in the backcourt with Wagner, Boncaro, Webb, and Yama, Wendell Carter, Bull, Bull, Thompson, and Bruno Fernando. So the rotation got a little bit worse, but I can throw Kiki in here uh, to be our backup small forward, I guess, for the rest of the season. And uh, and we're going to have like Houston and Proctor who can develop a little bit more uh, down the line. But Trey Young, I think, would fit perfectly in Orlando. So that is the big move we just made, and I'm okay with it. Four-star balance. 
29 26 right now i feel like with trey young joining us this team should just leapfrog up in the standings hopefully so at the end of the season we finish up as a seventh seed in the east so still disappointing with how the rest of the season went but i feel like with the foundation of young boncaro webb and yama resign franz wagner gary trent we're gonna be just fine we're eventually gonna be just fine so hopefully we just get out of this plan that'd be amazing we do so ironically enough we get to play atlanta who is the second seed in the east so they got false murray in the backcourt which defensively that's pretty awesome aj griffin city bay capella john collins of course got jalen Suggs. so we probably made the Hawks pretty good, but uh, it would be amazing if we could upset them here and move all the way to the conference finals, the second round, whatever it takes. So here we go. Game one, we're up on a 0, 120, 114. Trey Young and his former squad, 40 and 11. You love to see it. Game two, they even it up. Game three, they're up two to one. Man, it would suck to lose to Atlanta like this, and we're going to. Even without Trey Young, we lose to Atlanta. Atlanta's just stupid, man. In the simulation, they're dumb. Okay. So we, we, we executed what we wanted to, right? But it's time, man. It's time to make that next step. Houston goes on to win a championship retirement got that I was going for you honestly I don't think I plan on doing too much this offseason it's just a matter of trying to get better the progression resigning Wagner like it's gonna eventually blossom what we want it to be now I will say Jamal Mosley I've been a little disappointed so uh I think I actually am gonna fire Jamal Mosley as well and uh we're gonna go with a different head coach and see if that changes anything for us so Let's see. Is there a good head coach out here? I saw Mike Malone, and he'd be, like, amazing. Tom Thibodeau, I'm, a, I'm good on him. Bench, no thank you. Um, Lucas, bigger staff, Tyron Lue. Tyron Lue would be amazing. Just getting a head coach here that's balanced and would just fit perfectly. Nick Nurse would be great as well. I'm going to offer him. And then, uh, let's see, Mike Malone, offer him. Do we get any of them? No, they're all going to decline my offer. That's so unfortunate. Okay, so I don't get either of them. Head coach, do we have a balanced head coach anywhere? Uh, we got Wade Burford, I guess. I'm going to go for Wade Burford. I get rejected by all these guys. Wade Burford is my head coach. He's better than all of you anyway. So let's just go to rookie signing because we don't even have our draft pick anymore. Since we traded it, unless we had another pick and uh, we had a first round pick. Don't know from who from, uh, but we'll sign him, I guess. Player options, we're going to sign those. And then qualifying offers, of course, Franz Wagner is the big free agent. So let's make sure we take care of that. And uh, that should be it. So let's sign Franz Wagner. And we should be golden so we can resign him you get an offer we're gonna match it of course all right what is our rotation looking like currently so it's gonna be trey young proctor i assume proctor's gonna develop a little bit so that's fine gary trent is our starting shooting guard which i think i'm okay with uh thompson franz wagner boncaro bull bull window carter webb and yama so i think i should sign another guard just to be on the safe side i see terrence man and uh, he's so versatile we could play him at the one or the two so i'm just gonna do that Terrence Mann, sign him. And then if we can sign somebody else, I wouldn't mind either. But uh, I'll sign like a Bruce Brown too. Why not? So that will be it for me. And that will be our offseason once again. So Trey Young is in the Orlando Magic now. I could have stayed patient with what we had earlier. But honestly, I think the big move was necessary. Trey Young, Boncaro. It's our big three with 90 overalls. With Wagner being an 88. Everyone's progressing. Even Tyrese Proctor up to a 78. So Terrence Mann is going to be our backup shooting guard probably. So we'll do that right now or proctor whichever one doesn't really matter and uh man actually goes up so here we go going into next season feeling very very strong and uh justified with what we've done so far if this team isn't a top three seed in the east i'm gonna be very very disappointed though power king line is number nine nat meditation of trey young gary trent wagner boncaro webb and yama carter bull bull man and thompson please please 2k oh then proctor as well so i'm actually just gonna run a nine meditation for this season and then proficiency we're a four-star balance so i would love to see that four and a half but that's okay too hopefully the simulation goes exactly how i expected to i got exactly what i wanted as we finished up as a top three seed in the east as a second seed in the eastern conference 30 points from trey young 21 from victor webb and yama and then 20 from paulo boncaro six and a half from franz wagner 12 from gary trent 10 from carter and then eight from bull bull and then six from terrence mann and then four from thompson so can we make it to the second round? We have not got to the second round once in this video. We've only made it to the first round. We get Boston in round one. We have Cameron Payne and Jared Stevenson as uh, starters. So hopefully we don't lose to Boston. We sweep them. They're out of our face. And now we get to play. And then Atlanta's already eliminated. It's Cleveland and Indiana. And we get to play Miami. So Miami's got Banton, Hero, Jimmy, Jovich, Bama Bio, Omer, Mac, Torian Prince. Yeah, this team doesn't scare me. Jim Butler, what is he? Like 36 at this point. So what is he averaging on the season? 20 points. Please tell me we beat them as well. And uh, we're the dominant Florida team. Boom. And to the East Conference Finals, we get to play Cleveland. Cleveland, of course, is going to be the tough matchup. They got Mitchell, Okoro, Mobley. I feel you match up very well against them, though. Boncaro, Webb, and Yama are going to match up super well against Mobley and Jarrett Allen. 
So this should be an interesting fight. Our backcourt might be at a little disadvantage. Gary Trent uh, being the other guy, but Franz Wagner definitely is a huge advantage over a Coro. So here we go. Game one, one zero start. That's a great start. 35 and 20 from Trey Young. I mean, if Trey Young's going to get us 20 assists a night, that should be a recipe for success. But we do lose game two, lose game three. And Cleveland is just that team, man. It's just Cleveland and Atlanta, man. It's just so tough in the simulation to beat those two teams. They got Cleveland and Utah, and you got the Cavaliers going on win it all. So I think it's safe to say we're going to run it back one more season. Just one more season. Run it back one more year. If it doesn't work out, we don't want to change from this video. This year, we actually got the first in the East. So Cleveland takes the second seed while we take the first seed. 24 and 11 from Trey Young, 24 and 13 from Webinyama, 23, 18, 12, and 11. So, like I mentioned, last chance here, and we get Atlanta in round one, which is interesting as they still have Fultz and Murray. I would not be surprised to add an OG and Josh Hart off the bench. Honestly, I would not be shocked at all if we lost to the eighth seed here. I'm going to click some like current round and watch Atlanta beat us. I have a feeling. I just have a weird feeling. And my feeling was wrong. Thankfully, I was wrong. And we, and we beat them. And now we get Indiana, who have Halliburton, Johnny Davis, Markinen, Giannis. Okay. Going to live with the results again. So many current round. And we beat them in five. So far, so good. And now we get to draw Cleveland again, who have added D'Lo off their bench. And it's the same starting five. It seems like someone in current round has worked for me. So I'm just going to click it again. And we are going to beat them in six. We got it done this time. Now we get to play Oklahoma City. So uh, we got to the finals at least. So let's see if we can finish them off. Game one, one to zero, one eight to one oh six, 25, seven and three. Game two, two to zero. So far, so good. Three to zero. And all we had to do was get past Cleveland unless Oklahoma City is about to come back. They do not. And we won a championship for the Orlando Magic. I mean, obviously, once I was set up with Victor Webb and Yama on my team, the recipe to win a championship this got easier and easier as we kept going. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely a fun one today. Always getting that one overall pick is always fun when you get that in 2K. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.